guys, <clears throat> Ryan from American Motorsports here. Uh, we've got a new product from Fuel Tech that we are going to install. Um, we're actually home in my little uh, one car garage here. We uh, needed some space at the shop, so <clears throat> I brought the car home here. Um, and it's tight in here, but me and my wife just bought some property and um, we're gonna have a whole lot more shop space in this real soon. So this should be about the last thing I do in this little one car garage. Um, you guys probably don't know this, but a lot of this car was actually built um, in here. So um, this isn't a one car garage on a house. This is a one car garage on a condo that we own, but it played its purpose. We've put uh, head gaskets on Turbo LS cars at 3.30 in the morning here before no prep races. Um, did a lot of the prep work to this car before it went and got the chassis work done. Um, so, on to it. A new product from Fuel Tech. You guys probably saw their release video. If not, go on Fuel Tech USA's YouTube and check it out. The O2 Nano Pro. Super awesome product. So for you guys that don't know what this does, O2 Nanos before, like I have in my console, right in front of the shifter, read and log air fuel. It's an O2 sensor reader, basically. Um, you know, before the O2 nanos were just basically just monitors. You looked at it and knew what it was. Now, this little guy <clears throat> does so much more. Um, go on their YouTube, watch the product release. It explains a lot more in depth what it does. Um, it's a conditioner and a controller in one for your O2s. I'm not even using it for my O2 sensors. This thing has some stuff that it does that uh, I'm gonna use it for something different. Um, I have O2 Nano um, stuff in my console. These won't exactly fit in my console, so I'm not gonna run two of them in the place of those. Um, and it's a little bit more cost efficient doing what I'm doing. So back to what we're doing with it. Here's the engine bay. You guys have seen plenty of this motor. So every race car has a bump button. Checking valves, setting timing. Um, bump buttons are useful for everything. Obviously you put one in the engine bay, so you don't need two people. I can have one of my guys or me set the valves without um, without needing any assistance. So bump buttons are super useful. But what's more useful is to use this O2 Nano Pro. And I don't think there's a picture. Yeah, there is right here. This touch screen, you can CAN bus communicate with your field tech. I already have a field tech switch panel on the back of my center console. Use it as a bump button. So as you can see here, um, <clears throat> which I haven't dug into this yet, but I'm gonna set this as a bump button. This button to the right, uh, I am hoping to set as a fuel pump button so I can prime it, um, flow the regulators, turn the fuel pump on and off, whatever I gotta do. I don't think you can put another third button down in here, but that's fine. Um, we can swipe to the next screen and do a fan water pump button if we want to, whatever we want to do. Um, what we're going to do is be able to bump it over, be able to turn the fuel pump on and off, and also you can set gauges. So our second screen, oil pressure, water temp, RPM, read it all from the engine bay. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I think it's going to be pretty trick. It's going to be super useful. Um, now we don't need somebody's head inside the car. Um, 
wondering if we have oil pressure. The fuel tech is set to shut the car off. If we lose oil pressure, that saved us in Georgia. It lights out. Um, our cam sink decided to dance its way out of the engine block. Um, and obviously wasn't turning the oil pump rod anymore. So that was fun. But let's, um, let's get rid of this guy and install the O2 Nano Pro. All right, bump button is off. Got the cowl partially removed. You can see the hole where the button used to come through. Um, if you guys didn't know, Fuel Tech, with everything they make, does something super cool. And a lot of other companies do it, but it's a nice touch and makes it super user friendly for guys that do installs. A template. Cut this page out, cut out some holes, mark it with a Sharpie, drill some holes, and open up our button button hole to be able to fit the harness plug here. And wire this thing. <clears throat> I got a four foot harness, I hope it fits. Um, I think it's gonna reach from the back of the fuel tech, which is down there. Um, it should reach back into there. Um, it's CAN bus and I'm not using it for the O2. So really all I need is power ground CAN bus. Um, the rest of this harness, I guess I'm just going to cut off. I know it seems kind of painful to do because this harness does so much, but I don't need it. Um, and it's just money, right? So let's get this thing mounted and plugged in and let's see what it does. And we're all finished. Take a look at that. That is fancy. So, start button, RPM, oil pressure, water temperature, and battery voltage. Doesn't get more straightforward than that, but it's the little things that matter. No more bump button, a lot more function, gauges on the firewall. We are cooking with grease. So stay tuned. We've updated our fuel tech to the new version. Um, like I said earlier in this video, we're kind of in process of buying a property. So this thing's not going to go out for a little while, but that doesn't mean we can't do little projects like this to it. So we'll have some more videos up soon. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for watching.